Families and businesses are being promised extra protection from cyber hackers as the government unveils a new industry code of practice. The code will cover web connected devices increasingly used in the family home amid concerns their cyber security features are inadequate. Live now to our political reporter Liza Edwards. Eliza, this is designed to hold major tech companies to account. Yeah, that's exactly right. And we're seeing these devices like smart TVs, watches, Google Homes used in family homes and businesses more and more these days. But the government is sounding the alarm today that the cyber security features are not being built into these devices. So under this new code of practice, companies will need to develop a disclosure policy to be more upfront with their customers. They'll also need to shore up their systems against outages and make sure that software updates are secure. The Home Affairs Minister Peter Dutton will today unveil this code of conduct, hoping that it will spark manufacturers to do this cyber security work from the outset. And Eliza, the Treasurer, will use a major speech today to warn that Australia's ageing population is an economic time bomb. Yeah, that's exactly right. And Josh Frydenberg will argue that uh, the government's prized budget surplus will help to shore up the economy against those long-term challenges. Josh Frydenberg was really setting the scene for... Uh, for the next year, the, for, sorry, for next month's mid-year budget update and also the upcoming intergenerational report, which is released every five years. Uh, this is about defending the government's determination to deliver that prized surplus, but also about addressing these challenges. He'll also flag the need for older Australians to stay in the workforce longer and potentially retrain in order to do that. Laura and Pete. 